it do, what it do, what it do, we are back. Before we get into this video, I just want to say one thing, and that is, are you looking at me? Are you are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to need to make sure you're looking at me. You are going to need to hit that like button and <laughs> subscribe before you watch any other part of the video. And if you don't, watch another video. Or replay this video. But any love is very much appreciated. What are these? As your children, this place has some great history. Increase in this astro astrology, spirits, or ghosts. Okay. We got ghosts in this town? Alright. We got ghosts in Little Hope? Meeting votes for mm. this incorporation. I vaguely remember what happened here. All the factories closed down. At Little Hope Town, at Little Hope Town Hall, Monday, the last residents of the town met with the emergency manager Kathy Flint to vote the to vote for disincorporation. Since the closure of the Reverend Textiles factory, a mass exodus has left the town with few inhabitants and empty cough coffers. Flint has disappo was disappointed was appointed as emergency manager to administer public services to the remaining residents, but the latest round of bank foreclosures means the last of the folk. townsfolk are planning to pack up and move on, which will leave Little Hope virtually deserted. Deserted. June 6, 1970. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Hey, why does it look like Daniel on the, on the right? Daniel, I think I found your long lost, uh, great, 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 uh, stepbrother, or I don't know. What's going on over here? What's going on over here with, uh, with these three, huh? Nothing. Oh, what was that? I saw something. Oh, I already checked that out. <coughs> Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Uh, booze gone in my head. You okay? Listen to me. You listen to me here, sir. <laughs> you okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Uh. Some free advice. Lay off the drink. Take it easy, will ya? Sure thing. <laughs> Gotta keep a clear head, right? Hmm. Can I go behind the counter? Let's make a phone call. Let's call baby girl. Let's call uh Miss Johnson or whatever his name is. Fuck. Hmm. Oh, I guess that's pretty much it for this. Let's get the hell up out of here. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did... you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was, came from outside. You really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for.
the black cat bar. Wait, there was a black cat in that, in the uh, photo, and now it's there's a black the cat bar. Did the old fucker just lock us out? So he was weird, fishing. that old guy. Sure, there was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? Hmm. Just some searching around. Maybe they, maybe we missed something. What is this? Did I find evidence of a culprit? Of a mole? Alright. My boy holding that blicky. Okay. So what we heard, we, were, we heard the church. And right now we are at the bar. I think we're going the right way. Yeah. You are here, yep. At the bar. So the bar, the school, the station, the cemetery, the t the town center and the factory. Okay. But yeah, um so I remember last video I was telling you I was gonna I remember last video I remember that I said I was gonna tell you guys a story time and so yeah um all right so this story time was back when I was in high snow when I was back in yeah I was I have in, a bad feeling about this I was in the eighth grade I was we'll in figure it out the way this fog just appears and so basically it's not natural I had just broken up with a girl and so I was I was like you know what I want some uh you know some female uh, I wanna I was basically like you know what the hell is this thing looks like some kind of effigy a warning perhaps I want some you know some attention some female or attention some, some other spiritual significance some female friendship Whatever it is it gives me the creeps I don't know and so I'm kind of curious about it I've heard more than enough thank you oh are you superstitious uh didn't you didn't scare you did I I'm sorry I I didn't scare you, did I? I don't know which is scarier. Whatever this is, or your morbid interest in it. A lot of people still really believe in this kind of stuff. After tonight, I thought you might be joining them. Mm. Just because other people believe all sorts of garbage doesn't mean I'm about to. I don't agree at all, but we'll just have to leave it at that. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. But yeah, um, so I just broke up with my my my. Can you two uh, make an effort to keep up? Girlfriend at the time, and so I remember I was in class one day, and there was this girl that I liked. Back then, oh, shit. and I never got the chance to uh, meet up with her. After a while, like we just stopped talking to each other. And so, <clears throat> one day, I asked uh, a girl in the classroom. I was like, "Yo, can you get me this uh, this girl's contact info so I can like, you know, <laughs> catch up with her or whatever?" Shit. Hey, can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. 
Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. You two! We need to stick close. What the fuck? Very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Oh, oh yeah. Um, so, I ended up getting her contact info, and one day, you know, I'm just like, uh, you know. Hey, wait for us! I'm actually gonna be in the area. What is that? If you actually want to come and hang out with me while I'm in the area, we could do that. And so hey. she's like, yeah, of course, let's do it. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. <laughs> oh, hex and all. Damn. Don't that share your wrist, bro? This is how I'd be stroking it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> What is your name, sir? Uh, I'm Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? I'm going come to play. Down. Come play with me. Which is trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I say you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. out here by the fire what I, I don't see any fire I saw them too are you okay uh did you see that did you not see that this place is all wrong how can you not have seen that I couldn't see anything through this impossible impenetrable fog well go ahead tell them what we saw a little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? Mm. I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary. Oh shit. Did she want to hurt you? She left a mark. She might be malicious. She meant no harm. No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. Man, I think he's a smart ass, bro. God damn.
You gotta know it all over here, bro. But uh, yeah. Um, so what is going on? I'll continue on with the story later. After this scene. Well, that escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. She's a little anyway, girl. where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps? I was in the background hitting or that shit. Perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Put my man in Let a fucking van, bro. You. you help make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. Mm -hmm. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful. More than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And yep. souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Oh yeah, find the bus driver. I forgot about him. Hmm. Will I be playing as as oh, Taylor now? She or? sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Yeah. What was that I'm tempted from? to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. Didn't we want all oh, that to say? Like, I was going to say like, didn't we want to like get back with the group? Um. But uh, yeah. So. I end up hanging out with the girl, and the thing about the girl is, she is my friend's girlfriend at the time. So, with that being said, while I was hanging out with her, I had no intention of, you know, getting intimate with her. Don't pull the trigger. Okay. So, yeah, I had no intention of getting intimate with her. But I... N oh, shit, the hell? Yeah, I had no intention of getting intimate with her. I just wanted to hang out with her, hang out because of the fact that um, I was feeling kind of lonely. And I was feeling kind of lonely. And I feel like if I hang out, if I hung out with anyone at the school, Might they wouldn't want to hang out with there. me because of the fact that, uh, well, the thing about relationships in school is that when, 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 uh, whenever I would go out with a girl, it was, it was like, it was news. Like, it, every, like, the whole school knew about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was, I was famous for going out with pretty girls. So whenever... Whenever I would go out with a girl, everyone knew.
So naturally, whenever, you know, the relationship didn't work out, I was, everyone knew me for, you know what I'm saying, for one thing, and so, by me going, being able to speak to someone who's not in my school, it was being, I, it was like a, a new experience, you know, because I didn't have to worry about How are you people coping? being all up in my business, I don't know, so to speak. What do you think happened to us back there? Uh, I have absolutely no explanation for it. Makes zero sense to me. What is out there? We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. Smeagol! We got Smeagol in the building! My precious! Smeagol, he always he always be talking in third person like uh Smeagol good boy <laughs> or some shit like that, right? Obviously that doesn't sound like him, but I'm not even gonna try to do the impression. But uh yeah, on I'm gonna go on again with my story. So where was I? Oh yeah. I was basically talking about the reason why I wanted to talk to someone who wasn't in my school. This have something to do with what we saw? Uh, must be. <sighs> that would explain it. What was it again? The Witch of Edmonton. A witch. A witchcraft. Evil. Believes in the devil. Alright. But, uh, yeah. So, naturally, you know, since I was friends with, um, her boyfriend, you know what I'm saying, naturally me and her would know each other, and so, yeah, I mean, at the time I just wanted to, I just wanted to find someone I could talk to and be, you know, be chill with, and so, as we're walking, we're hanging out, she starts asking me, like, weird questions, and I remember, I remember this when, uh, when we met up, you know, she was like, oh, where's my hug, this and this, and I was like, damn, she wanted a hug from me? And the way she was dressed, man, she was, she was, she wasn't, uh, she, she was looking for, she was trying to get some, she was trying to, she, she, hey, she was trying to get some dick, bruh, I'm not gonna lie, bruh, she was trying to get some, feel me? But, uh, yeah, I mean, she was dressed in leggings. To just to just to describe, she was dressed in leggings. She had uh, her hair out, her her hair down. Um, she had like a little like leather There's jacket. There's something or up ahead. She was just real nice, and she was asking for a hug. She was being like very flirty and whatnot. And I was like, all right. <clears throat> so, as a walking, which way? Wait, me. Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Oh shit! Stop! Book gang, hold up, gang shit. Book this gang. Is exactly what goes down in horror movies. <laughs> oh shit! Hold lot of gang shit. What the hell do we do now? Light that bitch up. I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Stay right here. Stay right here. Hold up, I'll come with you.
Hey, you two! This is not good. Confront the little girl. Hey, yo, where are you going? Little girl, where are you going? Oh, shit. Hey! Anyone there? Apparently, my flashlight didn't work. Hello? Oh, shit. Anyone? This is creepy. Get off me! John! Angela? What is it you want from me? Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait! Don't go! Stay away! Oh shit, Angela, this is you! What the hell are you? What do you want? Look. It's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Wait, Angela and John, they're... they're Let's get into they're town. Ma they're married? It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? Are they actually married in real life? Like, in the game? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go any except into the center of town. The fog decides Continue. where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never, ever split Those up. Those movies are dumb. True. And you I'm going this up. way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm with Maybe John. she's right. Um, let's go with Taylor on this one. I'm with Taylor. Seriously? You want to go with her? Okay, for me, this is a bad idea. Very bad. I'll team up with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. I feel like Taylor and Angela should have a better relationship. So that, that's why I wanted to. Uh, that's why I wanted uh, to switch it up. I'm glad you stuck with me. You picked the winning team. Well, I mean, they have a better chance. So <laughs> they have three people. We have two. It's just me and you. <laughs> Hold up. You hear that? Whoa. <laughs> Chill out, bro. What you see? was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. This dude looked like he landed on Let's his face, out. bro. 
You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. Oh. So yeah, um, as we're walking, you know, now she's what? being like super flirty. She starts, you know, like, you know, touching me, playing games, like, play fighting while we're walking in the street. And she, and then, uh, after that, she starts, like, asking me, like, weird questions, you know? Are you okay? I wonder where the others are right now. Feels like it's my fault we split up in the first place. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there, you think that was really supernatural? It's sure starting to look that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. Then whatever the hell that was back at the intersection. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts, whatever else. It's getting the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. So as we're talking, she's asking me weird questions like, um, you know, how many kids I want to have, uh, where I live, if I want to have a girlfriend. And like all these questions are like about like, futuristic family type shit. Fuck. Wait! This man is losing his marbles, bro. Cat, black cat crosses in front of you. People say that's bad luck. I don't believe that though. I <laughs> got that blicky. Got that glizzy on me. Got a dick in my pants. There's a snake in my boot. Oh, only th four bullets. Okay. Four boots. No, four bullets. And there's how many of us? There's John. There's t there's uh there's there's um. Tanya, there's Daniel, John, Tyler, Daniel, uh, no, Tanya, my bad, not Tyler, Tanya, Angela, and then there's him. So there's five. Uh, modern Magik and ritual is a definitive guide to the subject of Magik of the New Age as opposed to magic for stage musicians. Okay. Magic. <laughs> if 
you guys want to read this, you can read it right now. So you need hair to be able to do magic. The Sun and Moon is an important practical magician. The Sun represents death and rebirth of a god whose life cycle is marked by the wheel of the year. The sun is born into the winter solace, measures, matures in the spring, flourishes in the summer. The moon represents the divine goddess, queen of heaven. She is the keeper of mysteries, ruler of the psychic powers and unseen realms. The moon is identified with the woman's menstrual cycle. Really? Um, the sun and moon represent the cosmic balance between the state between the male and female universal forces wait how's the sun related to men it says it's related to females but how is it related to men the cosmic balance between male and female universal forces. Uh, around these symbols revolve revolve mis mysteries of human experience, such as passion, fertility, death, rebirth. Okay. Let's see. I, I I think I think I could have flipped more into the book. Let's see. Well, that's it. That's everything else that there is to read. All right. Hey, yo, John, I got that blicky on me. Where you at? <laughs> Anybody try to run up? <laughs> Let's just say they gonna get this stick. What kind of place them. is this? They don't get a hole in them. That's for damn sure. Nah, no, I'm joking. I'm not gonna shoot nobody. According to the photos, I can't. I shouldn't. John, where you at? Better not jump scare me, bruh. I got a fucking, I got a fucking stick on me, bro. Professor, end up with a hole in you. <gasps> there you are. You flipped out again. That was crazy back there. Sorry, I took off like that. I'm more twitchy than I thought. Thanks for coming after me. What the hell was that in there? You know, for a professor, you're acting like a bitch. It was nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it? What am I? In second grade? <laughs> you acting like it. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. Okay. What's this? Another photo. Time comes, we gotta help Angela. But uh, yeah, let me continue on with the story real quick. So, as we're walking, she's asking me these weird questions like, uh, you know, how many kids I want to have, if I have a girlfriend. I tell her at the moment, no. Um, you know. 
and she's asking me, like, you know, like, if I'm in a gang, or, like, gangbang or anything like that, obviously I don't gangbang, I'm not, I'm not into that type of stuff, I never have, never will be, and so, you know, as we're walking, she's like, uh, you know, she just gets freakier and freakier, like, it, it just gets more, like, intricate into what she's talking about, and it gets more detailed, and, you know, so I, as we're walking, I'm, I'm starting to get the hint. I'm starting to get the hints like, oh, she, she wants to, she wants to fuck, <laughs> right? So by the end of the time, by, by the end of our, of our walk, you know, she, uh, she basically, she's basically like, you know what, let me walk you home. And I was like, yeah, that's not going to work. Because, uh, you know, she's my, my friend's girl and I, I didn't want to, you know, go behind my friend's back and, and do that type of, do that do that thing because like that at the time at that time the guy I was friends with he was like my best friend you know what I'm saying he was like one of one of my one of my best friends at the time so I didn't want to do that so um she ends up being like oh you're a pussy this and this and that and I was like yeah yeah uh yeah I, I'd rather be pussy then and so I walk her upstairs and as soon as I as soon as I walk her upstairs, I tell my friend about it, and I'm just like, "Yo, she tried to do this and this and this." You know what I'm saying? And my, at first, he didn't believe me, but then after a while, he started to believe me. But that was because he told his other friend, which I knew, and this girl tried to get with his other friend. So this girl was a slut. She was trying to get with everybody. Right? And so, eventually, um, me, me and the guy that I'm friends with, you know what I'm saying, at that time, he was like my best friend. We stopped talking. And I guess it was because, like, um, he saw, like, he saw, like, I, I, he was vulnerable and I could have, you know, went behind his back and took an advantage took an advantage of that and so um after that you know it was basically like he 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 couldn't trust me because in a way um if he were in my shoes you know what I'm saying and it was it was my girlfriend that he was talking to he probably wouldn't have done the same thing and so that that's why I'm assuming that you know what I'm saying me and him stopped talking but uh but yeah, um, and it was it was just a number of reasons, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I I just there were a couple scenarios where you know I found out that he like really really didn't trust me. You know what I'm saying? Like he ended up getting into a fight. You know what I'm saying? He never told me. You know what I'm saying? He never told me he got he got into a fight, and it it kind of like hurt me because I was just like, bro, you, you know what I'm saying? You you get into a fight. And you get you get back against the person who fought you, but you don't even tell me about it. Like, come on, man, I'm your friend, bro. You know what I'm saying, I thought we was ride or dies. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, what do you guys think? What do you What do you guys? What would you guys have done there? Would you guys have gone behind the guys? Behind? Would you guys? Would you guys would have? Would have you guys gone behind your friend's back and, and you know and slept with their girlfriend? I know I wouldn't, but, uh, it's, it's funny, it's funny when I think about it, because, you know, when, when that same friend came, came back from his vacation, because he, he lives, he now lives in a different state, um, he was, he was asking about, you know, my, about my, about my ex, you know, he was, like, he was asking for her, he was like, he wanted to know how she was doing, and, where she was, he even went to the lengths of asking other girls about her in front of me, you know, so I guess in the end, you know, he wouldn't have done the same if he were in my shoes, that's basically what I'm trying to say, so basically, you know, what I learned from that is, you know what I'm saying, watch what you call your friends, man, watch what you call your friends, you know what I'm saying, you could have a handful of friends, but 
You know what I'm saying? Only one out of those handful are actually your real friends. You know? You got a rock? Give me that. I'll smash the window. What is it with the black no cat, man? I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? <laughs> oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Be careful, man. That's glass. Piece of cake. I guess there's no glass in the window, stupid. <clears throat> oh, shit. Tanya and Daniel and Angela. All right, my boys. We're going to have to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed that story time. If you guys would like to hear more story times, and you guys want to see more of Little Hope, well, tomorrow I'll definitely have a video out for you guys. But in the meantime and in between time, you looking, my boy? Because he's looking at you. You looking? Are you looking? If you have ever had breakfast... I'm gonna need you to like the video. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to comment, and I'm gonna need you to share the video. If you can't share the video with your with your friends or family, rewatch this video again on 2x the speed. And uh, yeah, show this video some love, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>